I don't believe that. I think this piece of paper belongs to you. What? Let me see. Uh, okay, let's stay calm about this. Uh, listen, I have resold the goods I got from the bandits. But there's no reason to take this straight to the militia, right? I'm sure we can come to an understanding, can't we? Make me an offer, then. All right, I'll tell you something. I can sell you more than just fish. If you hand me this ridiculous piece of paper and uh, forget about the matter, uh, you and I can become the best of trading partners. Oh, really? What kind of goods would those be? Well, I could offer you uh, quite special fish. You see, not just plain ones for eating. You mean like the one that contained your hidden message? You've got it. I have several of those fish. It was his decision, wasn't it? All right, it's a deal. I think we can keep this little matter between ourselves. Thank you. Just drop in next time you happen to be in the vicinity. I'm bound to have some interesting things for you. Show me your fish. Come over here. I've got something for you. There's a fellow here who insisted on talking to you. Since you weren't here, he told me to give you a message. He wants to meet you behind Halver's fish shop. This piece of information is free, but that's an exception, kid. Anything beyond that will cost you. What did the guy look like? I could tell you that, but you need to pay for it, my friend. I need information. for you, stranger. Who are you? And what do you want from me? That isn't important. What is important is what you've done. You have remained loyal even if you weren't aware of it. Some benefactors have become aware of your loyalty and they are offering you a chance, so use it. Hey, just tell me why you're here. I have a gift for you. Everything else is up to you, stranger. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who are you? I'm called Attila, but is my name important? Our names are meaningless. You should know that best, stranger. <laughs> I will never change. Really, how interesting.
nothing to plunder. Nothing, Nothing to be had plenty. there. Contact with the rebelling peasantry in the surrounding areas is strictly forbidden. I'll never get this open without the right key. Hey, what are you doing down here? There's nothing here for you, so? Out with it. What are you doing here? Attila gave me a key. That's why I'm here. So what do you want of me? Wouldn't you like to know? Keep your cool. Go see Cassia. You're expected. Hey, you! I see you received our gift. I'm Cassia. All right, Cassia. So tell me why I'm here. You caught our attention by winning the trust of some of our friends. And we want to offer you a chance. You can join us. Tell me about your organization. People in town are pretty nervous about us. But nobody knows our hideout. The handful of people who even know that the sewers exist believe that they are locked and not accessible to anyone. As long as they don't find us, we can work in peace. What do you know about the missing people? Why would that interest you? I want to find out what happened to them. When you emerge from the sewers, swim down along the coast to the right for a while. You're bound to find your answers there. What's in it for me if I join you? You can learn special abilities from us. Abilities that will allow you to live in luxury. But I wouldn't have to hide out down here, would I? <laughs> no. You only have to stick to our rules. That's all. What are your rules? The first rule is, you don't breathe a word about us, to anyone, ever. Second, don't get caught. Third, 
If you draw your weapon down here to attack someone, we'll kill you. And the fourth and last rule is, those who want to join us have to prove themselves. What happens if I get caught? Just don't get caught, okay? How am I supposed to prove myself? Now will you join us or not? What can I learn from you? Jesper is the master of stealth. He will show you how to move without making a sound. Ramirez is an exceptionally gifted burglar. No law can withstand his picks. And I can teach you how to be a pickpocket. I'm also going to help you become more dexterous, for dexterity is the key to your abilities. Okay, I'm in. Great. You'll be given an opportunity to prove yourself. And if you want to learn from us, you're welcome. Can you teach me? Sure, no problem. Just let me know when you're ready. Show me how to pick pockets. If you want to empty somebody's pockets, distract him. Just start talking to him. While you're talking to him, size him up. Look out for bulging pockets, jewelry, or leather straps around the neck. And most of all, note how keen the fellow seems. Robbing a drunk day laborer is not the same as stealing from a watchful merchant. If you're too clumsy, of course, he'll smell a rat. So above all, keep your cool. I want to become more dexterous. How am I supposed to prove myself? That stubborn old alchemist, Constantino, has a beautiful ring, but he doesn't really need it. I want to see it adorn my hand. 